Well, it's congratulations again this year, uh, Mr. Wills. I believe you scooped both the Holstein champion and the Interbreed champion. Uh, very delighted again. I think probably more delighted this year than last year because I think it's been a fantastic show to win. There's been some wonderful cattle here, and uh, we came with a few hopes, but not not sizes. And the boys and our team have done an ex excellent job getting the cows and heifers ready, really. And tell me, it's Basing Thought leader Dillis, isn't it? Tell yeah. me a bit about her. Well, she was um, born in Leicestershire, at Basingthorpe, a little village near near Grantham. Uh, the Harrison family, Anne Harrison, bred her, and then Mark Nutsford, who we bought his herd from, bought her as a heifer, and he started to show her, and then she came along with the herd that we bought um, March before last, and we've been very fortunate. She's one of our most favourite cows in the whole herd, really. You know, she done tremendously well. She came um, runner-up, you know, reserve last year at the dairy event. And then we won the, Hol the Holstein Centenary Year with her, Supreme Champion. And to do it again now, you know, milking, you know, sort of nine months and win this show has been tremendous. And just shows what a wonderful cow she is, really. And, and what, what did she show that promise at the onset when you bought her with uh, Mark well, Nelson? I mean, you know, we knew Mark had some wonderful animals in the herd, and we bought them as a package. And probably, especially me, didn't, I didn't realize how a wonderful cow that came along with the team in the herd, you know. But uh, she's done tremendous well. We've cabbed her since we've had her here. And like I said, she won the national in February. And to do it, do two major shows in one season is quite an achievement for the cow, really, and and the family, you know. And she's been a bit of a veteran now, and the fact she's had, I believe, five calves okay, already. Yeah. So tell me, what, what's the lactation like? What's the, I mean, how is she forgiving? I mean, you know, she'll end up probably doing, I'll have to be careful with my figures, but in her 305, doing about 15,000, but we have flushed her, so she'll have probably an extended lactation, probably up to 20,000. But we would like now to breed her back, now we flushed her, and hopefully, if she wears well, may be ready for perhaps 2011. And what are you, you going know? to breed her back to? Um, probably, a, you know, a, ca a pool that would really carry on her longevity in her traits, really, you know. But Robert and my son, they do a lot of the, the matings, and I think, you know, they've proved now our herd is gradually improving every year. And how does she fit in with your other herd, the rest of your herd down at, uh, at uh, in Cornwall? I mean, uh, just has special treatment of any sort? Then, every cow gets special treatment. All right, does it? Okay. And I think, you know, she, all our cows and heifers live with the rest. And, you know, we've tried to build a setup that, that all cows can live comfortably and healthy and well and give us her full potential. So she lives with all the other cows, you know, in the herd, you know, of the 1100. And, uh, I mean, probably she gets a little bit of TLC I see, get yes, in that, but uh, you know, she, we're still very happy. Lies in cubicles, get milk with the main groups, and you know, absolutely fantastic cow to manage. And is know. she destined for any other shows this year? No, I think uh, whether she would hold on to the national, but probably we won't, and probably she'll have a little layup, get her in calf, and then hopefully she may come right, you know, for the shows in 2011, perhaps, you know. So. Uh, Long time off. A lot of water to go under the bridge by then. I'm sure you'll have something up your sleeve for next year. Anyhow, congratulations, Peter. Again, Mr. Thank Will. you.